Theresa May has won over her critics to remain as Prime Minister. For now, Getty Images, Nigel Morris 5 hours Wednesday, October 24, 2018 Theresa May won a reprieve from the backbiting in Tory ranks after she won noisy support from MPs and peers for her Brexit strategy. She was cheered following an emotional and personal speech to the party's 1922 committee in which she dismissed claims that Britain could remain tied to the European Union for many years to come. The Prime Minister insisted that she would deliver on the result of the 2016 referendum, and urged the party to unite behind her. Her appearance, which was at her request, came after fresh claims that her internal opponents were close to gathering enough support for triggering a vote of confidence in her leadership. Brexit transition criticism of her has intensified following the failure of last week's Brussels summit to clinch a deal over the terms of Britain's withdrawal from the EU and suggestions that she could support an extension to the post-Brexit transition period. Theresa May has not yet struck a deal with the EU, photo Getty images, however, lured briefings by unnamed backbenchers at the weekend calling for her to be knifed, appeared to have had the reverse effect, rallying MPs behind her. Even her strongest critics acknowledged that she had done enough to shore up her position for the moment. One MP told I, the Prime Minister leads a brilliantly united party, at least this evening, emotional speech Mrs May spent 45 minutes addressing the packed meeting at which the vast majority of questions were supportive. Amber Rudd, the former Home Secretary, said she gave an emotional and personal speech which won the room, adding that she believed the Prime Minister's position was safe. Theresa May and Amber Rudd, photo, Getty, Ms. Rudd said, she spoke quite emotionally about why she was doing this for the good of the country and how it was important that the public and our party members realized we were behind her and that we all wanted the same thing. Michael Fabricant, a former Tory vice chairman, described the meeting as a love in, saying, it wasn't Daniela in the lion's den, it was a petting zoo. Public opinion earlier, a poll found that 78% of people surveyed by Ipsos Mori were pessimistic about Mrs. May's ability to strike a good deal with Brussels, up from 70% a month ago. Just 19% have confidence in her handling of Brexit, according to the Ipsos Mori survey. More than 4 in 10 people, 43%, believe Brexit will make their standard of living worse, up 7 points from a year ago, while 18% think it will improve their situation. More on Theresa May.